Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. During the middle part of the last century, the Germans focused a great deal of time and effort on the continent of Antarctica, attempting to establish a base. It's widely believed they discovered something, something that has been kept hidden. It's my personal belief that they not only established a base, they continue to have a base there, that a certain group of Germans lives in, I guess, what you would call an expatriate status, for lack of any real better term, and has thrived. And over the last 70, maybe 80 years, they have come to master this discovery. However, there are certain parts of their culture they hung on to. We all know the story of Little America, Operation High Jump. We know what certain astronauts have said that they've seen. Many people can't wrap their mind around just how big Antarctica is. I've tried to illustrate it. It's bigger than all of Europe. There are places that the ice reaches 10,000 plus feet into the air from sea level. There are vast swaths of the continent that are under these tunnels of ice. I'm going to show you guys something today. and. The imagery from Google Earth Pro is going to prove something. It's going to show something. It's going to correlate with historical evidence that will be undeniable. It's a region we've been to before. It's about the 8 o'clock region in Antarctica. You use the Antarctic Peninsula. If you go to Google Earth Pro and you put that to the top of the screen towards South of America, this area is going to be down around 7, 8 o'clock. I will, of course, give you the location for all of this. This is our first stop. What you're looking at 
is a giant torch right here that is stuck in the ice. I've measured it. It's about 30 feet tall, and it has a giant flame on top. You can see the shadow here. Behind it, we see a lot of other flames, but we can see this one stick out very specifically. When we zoom out on the region, we see these lines of torches everywhere. We've seen them before, and it's just been kind of a curiosity. Well, this region reveals some new evidence that I want to show you. We also have this shadow. Now, I don't think even the most skeptical of naysayer could look at that and go, oh, yeah, that's just a rock. It's just a shadow of a rock. That's what happens when wind, ice, rock, and snow get together. They form perfectly 90-degree angles. So this is clearly a building of some sort casting a shadow. And we see more lines of what look like torches lit through the whole region. And then there are domes like this, symmetrical with something on top. It's almost as if you had walked back into mid 20th century Europe, maybe earlier, looking at some of the creations. I don't know how anyone can look at this and say, this is a creation of nature, but here's the historical part. There was this tiny part down here that caught my eye, and I found something that looked very, very, very familiar. Who can see the eight and the eight? Now, some of you will know what the significance of eight and eight is. The eighth letter of the alphabet is H. So two of them together would be HH. Now, some people automatically go to the salute for the leader of Germany during that time, but it's also the initials of a man. That man's name is Heinrich Himmler. Now, some would say, that's just a reach, that's just a coincidence. Really? It's just a coincidence. It looks like, when you zoom out here, there is some type of a ceremony going on. All of the torches lit, one giant torch here, on this platform. Now I have the camera set a certain way so you can see something. This image was taken by the satellite on October 7th, 2012. Guess what Heinrich Himmler's birthday is? October 7th, 1900. So I suppose you could probably say it's one of the greatest coincidences ever that there is a torch burning, which was, of course, the sign, the, um, I don't know what the term, the symbol used to herald in in 1933 the rise of this particular party, this particular group of people the torch parades, and that on this individual's birthday, there is an image in Antarctica, a place that we know his particular government, his particular group, had a great interest. And that image shows something that looks like a rebuilt Reichstag, surrounded by a bunch of domes, that we could have seen in Germany at that time. And right below it, we see a symbol. A symbol that represents the man's initials. A symbol that has been associated with that movement for, well, 
Not quite a hundred years, but getting there. Ninety, at least. We'll look at that again. And you can look up October 7th, 1900. That is his birthday. Now, like many, I'm sure you're going to say, well, he died a long time ago. Maybe. Maybe not. I've seen pictures of the Reichstag. That's pretty close. I know what torches meant to these people. That's not a secret. And I also know what these two numbers mean. Now it seems like that's an awful lot of coincidences. New Schwabenland, Antarctica, the torches, the man's name, his birthday. And you can go back. It, uh, this, image, this image is shown in other dates after this, but it's never shown before this, mean, meaning that this was the date the image was taken. You can click backward before 10-7-2012, and you won't find this image. This appears to be some kind of a ceremony. Which would, of course, be incredibly, incredibly controversial to say. But, like I said, you can look at the evidence, you can look at the images, I'll give you the locations, I'll give you the historical data. To my mind, there's no doubt. And this torch, this three-story tall burning torch on this platform out here. And if someone else has another explanation for what this looks like, I'd love to hear it. And since we have a little bit of extra time, I'll just go ahead and measure it. Here's the bottom. One second. There we go. To the base of the flame, it's 24 feet. The flame's about 11 feet tall. You can even see the shadow down here. And there is fire all around it. And a great many other things that I could probably show you that would distract from the main point. We have a torch. We have the image of what looks like a Reichstag. We have, very clearly, the numbers 8 and the numbers 8. We have those three things on an image taken by a satellite on October 7th, 2012. The birthday of a man who was associated with a group of people that is associated with all three of those things. I don't know. I mean, figuratively speaking, I don't know. But it's uh, just about as clear as you could get. To my mind, anyway. But I'll leave it up to you. Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe. would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over at the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one 
U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot time. 12 o'clock is six miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond, Green King. Isn't the Landesite off-world, sir? Thank you.